Hey guys, Sharpman here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wooden flute lead in Massive X. It sounds something like this. In addition to that, I'm also going to show you how you can turn this lead to a pluck. It sounds something like this. So in order to recreate that sound, the first thing you want to do is to go to the wavetable selection and go with additive plus FM and the grass my bell wavetable. So this one sounds like a very FM wavetable. So what we're going to do is use the low pass filter to get rid of uh, these sharp high frequencies like this. And as you can see, we're left with a really nice tone. So we're going to find a nice spot in the wavetable where we can hear that tone a bit better. like here and now we're going to use envelope number two to reopen that filter and close it again really fast so we can get a nice attack sound out of it so basically what we're doing is we're reintroducing these high frequencies very shortly to create a nice clicky sound now the next thing you want to do is to go to LFO number four and add it to the pitch of our main oscillator uh, this will create a nice vibrato effect, so I'm going to modulate it very slightly, like 0 0.2. And it already makes it sound more like a realistic flute. And in addition to that, we can go to the noise oscillator and add uh, the breath noise to also make it a more realistic flute sound. Now what we're going to do is to use LFO4 to modulate um, both the volume of our, of our noise oscillator and of the main oscillator. We're going to do it very slightly uh, so we can mimic uh, the sort of um, volume changes uh, in a real flute again. So you want it to be very subtle on the noise since its volume is already really low. And then we're going to go to T1, which is just keyboard tracking. I'm going to set it to uni mode, which means that it's just going to increase the value of whatever we set it on. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to the rate of L4.4 uh, to create a nice effect throughout the different pitches of this sound. And I'm also going to go ahead and change the pitch of the breath noise and increase it back using T1 as well. So this means we're getting uh, lower pitched breaths at lower notes and higher pitched breaths at higher notes, which means that the lower notes are going to be slower, but the higher notes will be much faster. So this brings another uh, realistic element and makes it a bit more interesting in my opinion. So after you have um, the main sound, the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and add some delay. I'm going to sync it up and set it to 4 and 2 for example and I'm going to reduce the mix by a bit so we get this sound which is very nice in my opinion and then in addition to that you can also add some room reverb as well let's go with a small dance preset and set the size and the mix to be a bit uh, smaller so you can hear uh, it's got some stereo width, but it doesn't sound way too in the back of a room. And then in addition to that, if you want, you can go ahead and just add um, big crushing. But if you do that, you probably want to remove um, the re reverb and the delay to get a cleaner sound. And then you just gotta uh, fiddle with the settings until, until it sounds uh, interesting as well. Something like this can get you a really nice uh, AB lead sound, but if you don't want that, you can just bring back uh, the delay and the reverb, and you get this sound. And once you play with um, pitch bending, you can get a much nicer sound, like this, for example. And the delay sort of repeats uh, the pitch bending that you do, so that makes it even more interesting. And one more thing that you can do with this patch, if you want to, is to go to the volume envelope and remove the sustain. 
set the decay to be a bit shorter and set the shape of the decay to be like this and you can get a really nice plucky sound out of it too which is also pretty nice and that is pretty much it if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what subject do you want me to cover up next time